where you come from that doesn't mama tell me can't talk good like relevant you know oh where you come from doesn't define who you are where you come from doesn't define your personality and where you come from also doesn't define your characteristic so i mean like the street need a vibes it's up for the youths all our can quiet Evan boss I'm a little and I grow, mama tell me keep my head up Get to you to rise up Don't stop fight till your time up Watch out for the system, don't get tied up Get to you to rise up Laughing and having a good time Isn't that what's life about? Great company and great advice Only on Street Voice Yo, 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 welcome to Street Vice, welcome to Street Vice, I know it got ready, welcome to Street Vice, the 9 o'clock, Chubba Dede, Chubba Dede, we'll be to go on, so we'll see you at our Hold on, Mackerel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You reach, you reach, you reach. You reach, Mackerel. You reach. Well, early too. Second so yeah. phone. So yeah, where can phone for? You can't give me like a time. Yeah, you want your baseball game like a time. Give us time. You understand? Are your man to give time? No, if not for give me a time, you want the time in that. You all that I and this is peckful. Oh well, God! Wait. Fun, Every week you look like you, hey, from your start work with street vice. Appear new things over here. Oh, where you gonna get um something curtain? You know, you buy a new curtain. People, Cassie <laughs> underscore eighteen. Mm -hmm. Don't mind my curtain from from. Don't ask my curtain last week. Let's run. Go and start working. You can come take liberty and night, girl. Cause we don't. Uh, yeah, live life. I know. Yeah, live life. I know. You buy a new curtain. Curtain all have two color. I say, you know, life are going good in your curtain. I'll have multiple colors. Watch your red. You see me? Where not tell them, where not tell them, say, never know about ring light and I'm going to tell about it. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, to be calling today, I tell you. Yo, you're not easy, you're not calling today, I tell you, so we get it. Yo, you're not easy, you're not. Yo. Where? Somebody write the question. I'm going to pin it. Somebody write the question. What's up, Zuri? Guys? Zuri, Zuri, Zuri. Do me a favor. Write the question in there. So me... Everything I want, Zuri, do. What's up, guys? I'm telling people at night. I want to say good night. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I'm wanting to have, hoping to have a wonderful week so far. I don't know. Life comes with an ups and downs. And I'm going to just pray and give God thanks. I don't know. Some love on us. So, right. That's the over. See that's the right. When I want to want to so. Tonight, we have a very good question. And, and a very uh, special guest, me. And a very special guest, yes. I don't know. Every mm -hmm. week we have the special <laughs> mackerel from the show. You understand? And I know sardine, and I know sausage, and mackerel. You see me? Big up to all of the people that we come tune into Street Vice every week. Each know, so. and every week. Wow, yeah. not to know the lie. I have some of them. They're just genuine right through. Right I know where you get them from. I'm going to know if I give them look at Roman Reyes or something. But wow, I'm just genuine. I see Sassy 18, she's she genuine. And so when I want to pin the comment, yeah. if there's something, the question, they're she's genuine. genuine. Yeah. You have some look at genuine one. Michael, that's what you are telling them. Like, oh, you are noticing the genuine ones. Them. Oh, big up some other people. Them. Big up Dan O'Dan every week. Sasha Taylor every week. Then Melissa every week. You see me? Sugar Candy, right, show. Non stop. Nisibo. No, but they, but they can't big up Melissa. Can Melissa have a tune in? Yeah, okay, Melissa is an employee, you're right. Exactly. So, oh, you want big up the employee? <laughs> have a big guy. No, you have to big up the, no, the, the people in where I comment with the Sherry supporters. Can. that. Sherika, King Collection. No, that's not one of the implies. No, I don't know. King Collection. King Collection. <laughs> Casey Bird, Alicia. Hey, you're all over my business. Oh, you know who work for me. You're not easy enough. Jamaican Princess. 
Yes, they mean. Yeah, they want that too. She always no, no man, but them, them always they yeah, and you know you have to show your appreciation to live on because they know them could have about them business and them could have ride past something yeah, on yeah. a bike. Yeah. But they take the time out and even if they are ride on the bike, they are here. Tonight, the question tonight is why do uptown people underestimate ghetto people potential? Again, I want to ask the question again. Apparently, uptown people have been underestimating ghetto people potential and we want to get to But you can't do it so relevant. You have to just start to stop playing that straight and all we understand what estimate mean and them somebody you have to break it down. Just use the simple words them. We want to hear... <laughs> Michael, est underestimate is not as hard word. But anyway, let me bring no, it down. No, but you don't. All right, all right, live. all right. So let me, me, me bring it down. Let me bring it down. A, B, C. Down to the A, B, C Part level. Part of mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch a break. All right, we want to know why uptown people don't believe that ghetto people have potential. Okay? Why do uptown people don't believe that ghetto people have potential? And to the people them who more understand certain things, we're going to use the big word, the macro say, underestimate. You understand? So, the question, why do uptown people don't believe that ghetto people have potential, or aka, why don't uptown people, why do uptown people underestimate ghetto people's potential? No, mackerel, give me your take on that. Run it. Every week you want me to go first, you tell that I want something, me have a say, and then you talk, and then I talk. Right. Sometimes if you first me, when I want to tell you, say, where you come from, that it doesn't mama tell me I can't talk good like relevant you know? oh where you come from doesn't define who you are where you come from doesn't define your personality and where you come from also doesn't define your characteristics so I mean like I don't talk is what I don't. Uh, no I like your characteristic okay all right what you got <laughs> all right people where you come from don't define your characteristics and but but I mean, but, but, but we know what say a characteristic but here we go we are gonna go down go down easy to watch so what do we what do we by the way my love all the people up on the live now welcome to street vice every week we are gonna go down, we are going another thing why do uptown people underestimate ghetto people and the first thing we want to talk about is when we define uptown people versus ghetto people we want to know are we using um location as the root of what we are talking about or are sometimes we, yeah sometimes. Are, are we mm -hmm. using the educational makeup uh, of, of these people so whether it's the location but i believe that tonight we are going to focus on both of them we're not going to separate it yeah but, true. Uh, true. Mm -hmm. we are going with the education this is what we're talking about uptown people we're talking about the people where in, a, in the upper echelons in our community you understand them have the more intellect as well as um um people who live more in a in a sophisticated neighborhoods versus those who live so, in mama, a... hello hello so, mama talk he people, he might talk about people live at Beverly Hills. He might talk about people live at Cherry Garden. Yeah. He might talk about people live at Narrow. Yeah. Versus the people them who live at Jungle. Yeah. Versus the people who live at Flanker. Yeah. Versus the people who live at Walsam. Versus the people who live at Maxfield. Well, I'm saying you're pretty, pretty. There's some stuff pretty, pretty. Stuff, Listen, what happened? Here you go. And that's why I told we make it sure we're working on because here we go. Sure. You come from, you, and that's how you're thing. You come from, come. You know, make it more digestible. Me come for keep it, just so you come for send it home. You see me? Can you know better? Go on, can't you? So, <laughs> so, so, so yeah, people, if I talk about them people, eh, the people who go like them living at the area, when not even mosquito and a crawl upon the ground, mm -hmm. and they feel like them they on top of the world, mm -hmm. versus people like me, where I have a sewage around upon the road, <laughs> and the whatever, and the, the zinc up, zinc up, what them call the zinc up fence, yeah. versus the board. Bob Wire. And I'm Bob White get relevant right there. So relevant. I'm like, I don't know where you are. So, so, <laughs> so I mean, like, where you come from does it define who you are? Because look here, me can come from out of the ghetto. I'm a mother, can go all out. And even if she send me to school one time for the day, but still have a good education and sit down for my whole heap of subject, them. 
Mm. But guess where me can go when I get big now? And I can't go get no work because guess what? I can't put on the recommendation or the resume or whatever the application forms say. I come from a Maxfield. Because what they going to say is that, oh, you come from Maxfield. No, you're not qualified. They're mm -hmm. not look for some of them own subject. Them, you know, them just have look on the fact that Maxfield have a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. have a bad, and then everybody come from the ghetto is the ghetto. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I totally agree. And everybody really vans. And you should be defined by that. May I agree with that? There are some people in the ghetto, you know, where sit down in the relevant. I must say, sit down in the relevant. I sit down on the subject, them, you know. I must say, the way them sit down and them set it on the subject, them. When them go for get the job and them put them, them honestly, put them honest address on the paper, them negative. Because guess what? Oh, I'm not from. Cherry Garden, you're not for oh, in a man. Oh, no, I'm gonna like where she come from. But better if Cherry Garden go up there now, Cherry Garden get the work, and Cherry Garden go to the only for do the work. When a mm -hmm. man from Maxfield, no, for do the work. No, 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 your wife and I work good this no, week. <laughs> your, wife, yeah. your wife and I work good this week. No, but oh. everybody got on them bed. Man, make them wake up. Man, make them wake right, up. No, right, I can't even right. get on them bed. Man, make them wake up. All right. All right. Now I see I work. Mama, see you really Back to where you just said just a while ago. Me, 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 I have one friend. Mm -hmm. Me have one friend really bad. I'ma say the girl have it. What me say subject. What me say key up. What me say this. And what me say that. And a Spanish town should come from. And if she got apply right now, them not here, yeah, you know why? Mm -hmm. Cause she probably she never come from the top top part of Spanish town. She come from the, the ghetto part. Which means the Spanish town have no upscale place like that. We don't really know. So, so, so I mean, people, I them high class place there. So people upon the life, we're going to we're we're bring some things to light, you know. Um, Mackerel, Mackerel has said, be a wish for you live. It, it, it based on where you live if you put it on an application you can be denied of a job or an opportunity is that true is that true can you be denied be denied of an opportunity what want to take more soon in the comment comment section will somebody deny a person based on them address yes or no when you drop it in the comments may i read the comments got you got you got you will somebody deny you based on where you live yes or no let me see what they must say. It's true. That is yes, true. Let me see. That's yeah. true. Yes, discrimination. Yes. Yes, very true. Very true. All right. So, Makule, actually, I bring a very, very important thing to the to the forefront because I've never really thought about it like that. I just think that people get hired based on them qualification and based on them ability to get the work done. But, yes, yeah, so right about now, um, um, location plays a role whether you get the job or not. And everybody agree with this. Yeah, true. You see me? See that choo 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 choo. So the question, so all right, make we get to the root of the question. I know the question is, why do, why what is it? Why do uptown people underestimate ghetto people? I want to drop it in the comments as well. Come here, read some of the comments them. But Michael, why you believe them? The why you believe them don't see the potential, or them try to overlook the potential of the ghetto, of the people in the ghetto. Why you think them not focus on it? Really bad. You see, sometimes people, you see, sometimes the good suffer for the bad. Mm -hmm. You see, some, you see, get a people, are some old tiger egg them now, mm -hmm. are some old bongo band them in the really bad. I'm saying, not all of them, but some of them. But that's why I said the good stuff for the bad. Holy for them. So, yeah, me now go focus on the awesome good people in our ghetto. Yeah, man, good people. No, I'm not do that. When I know, say, get up people, them terrible, them terrible, them terrible, them terrible, and them don't know how to behave. So mm. people now look for the facts that good people now get to them, just always I watch them behave, yeah? Always I watch them. You know, if you understand yeah. me, I say, them always yeah. I watch them, look at something, them always see the bad in that people. Mm -hmm. People always see the bad in that people and not the good. So you see, true, them are focused on the bad and, oh, get the people this and, oh, yeah, because they come from Maxfield, you weed this and you weed that and you, you, you not focus on say you have no potential down there because I'll be, I'll be a cough down there for them. Mm -hmm. That's how we uptown people have it all. Be a cough down there, sir. Watch mm -hmm. them. them. All of them sit up on the corner. I wrote them and them. Them are cough. I know mm -hmm. enough of these youths are still up on the corner, relevant. 
Mm -hmm. I saw some well educated boys, some well trade boy. Mm -hmm. Eddie mm -hmm. Noah. Mm -hmm. But the ghetto youth them have trade, but we are lacking opportunities. Well, I'm going to interject right there, sir. And I I'm going to interject right there, sir. I have to interject right there, sir. I feel this is important for you to write, sir. You are, may I agree with you that the ghetto have a lot of potential, a lot of people will trade, but I think one of the reasons why uptown people underestimate ghetto people is because ghetto people lack the ability to articulate. You see, when you can't express yourself, it makes it difficult for people to can. And that is not a slight to the ghetto people, them, people not the ghetto, because guess what? Some of them never get privileged to get certain type of education. So they lack the ability to articulate and to express themselves. And my belief is that I get used against them too. That's my opinion. My piece that I get used to them, used against them. What do you feel about that? Exactly. But yeah, exactly. But that's true. I mean, like, not everybody can come to you and say, oh, my name is the relevant boss and talk nice and talk. And like, yeah, some people are just so them know if they express themselves. I just saw them, I just saw them know if they do it. Mm -hmm. I just saw you know, them know if they do that. I just saw I feel them we are team. Probably now I'm gonna come out here as it should. But and, and then probably the ghetto people are not really mean it, not really weird neither. I just saw them know if they do them thing. And, and, all right. And what I think what we want to what I think we want to identify is that articulation and potential, um, people's ability to articulate and then potential should be separate. Because if a man can do the job, he can do the job. Whether or not he can express himself great, he should be denied yeah. of the, of for, for do the yeah. job. If he can do the job, give him the job and make him do the job. And not yeah. say, oh, because he's not speak, he spoke. Give him the job yeah. and make him, yeah. make him do the job. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that would yeah. definitely feel. Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Mm -mm. And everybody can talk, so. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah, yeah. I sure, I sure. If folk you want them can do the job. <laughs> well, if you answer that, what you can say, all right, let me, let me, let me, let me put that to you. Not all like I wouldn't. Listen, just like how not all ghetto people can do the But hold on, just like how not all ghetto people can do the job neither. What we're trying to say is that. Ghetto people first... grow rough, relevant. Them know for yeah. the job. No, they're not. They, Macril, they don't always. Know <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. They don't always know to do the job. I not come across. Everybody are going to do everything. Yes, so not everybody, say. not everybody are going to do everything. <laughs> so, what we are saying is that, all right, people, Stop. here what we are trying to say. Yeah. In the ghetto, we know say, in the ghetto, there's some good potential. There's some people with some good potential. Yeah. But what that you find. Good. No, you are one of the one that without the potential. Listen, but <laughs> 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 hey, come to him. Anyway. <laughs> but listen, here we are said, in the ghetto, you have some people with potential. But what you find is that as Marcus said earlier, because of their geographical location where them live, you find that people just write them off and say not good no come from down there so period and what we need to do is to go ahead and to figure out what we can do because tonight's live is not just for identify the problem but we need to figure out some solutions we can actually create change to the problem yeah right yeah the problem. Where, or you, what you, you have any solutions to some of the problem as to why because we'll go back to even more so more problems but why not right after that you have any solutions where you feel that like, um can be done on both sides towards respecting the talent of the people in the ghetto when are the solution part it can't attack all right when are you solution i'm actually around the show me i just me i just the guess let me make my career on the show yes, <laughs> <laughs> yo all right so all right but we'll look at some more things why them underestimate people more to share more to actually bring out some people's point go ahead in the comments right now and Give me some reasons why you believe that ghetto people are underestimated by uptown people. Go ahead in the comment section. Mark, remember, we'll give them a minute for, for, for sending some stuff. Come on, read some of them. Yeah. Comments. I want to make sure it's in the comment section too. Ghetto people drive car and we ride bicycles. So, yeah, them feel like say, them mm -hmm. more than me and them are going to underestimate we call me ride bicycle. And them mm -hmm. are big top of top Benz and BMW. Yeah, them usually if you feel like say them can underestimate the poor people them. Yeah. Like the ghetto people them. Yeah. On yeah. enough of the weeds. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's like, like that one there. Somebody just said fear. Ain't no like about fear. 
You know, I like about fear. I'm going to touch on that fear there. Because they must say, basically, uptown people are fearful of get up, get up people's potential. And more and more for that, what they mean. If they mean, say, the person will write fear. Do you mean that get up, do you, do you mean that uptown people are fearful of ghetto people's potential? And if so, why would they be fearful? Fear is the leading factor. Tell me why. I see the person named Queen Castle. May I give you an opportunity to share that thought there? Because I really want to understand. Queen mm -hmm. Castle. May I give you an opportunity? What does fear? Oh, fear for them life? Fear for them life. So them fear said the ghetto people. Yeah, man, two man. Yeah, get the people we get out, you know, get the people them mad in the No, no, but hold on. So, all right. One person said fear for the life. One person said fear for your life, and another person said fear for fear. The person who actually said fear is a fear of competition. I think that is more what it is. I don't really feel said them choose for um appreciate get the people based on the fact that them fear say get the people I'll shoot them and they kill them. And I think of that. But feel say get the people have the potential for to compete with them in a one way and to take with some of them things and if you say that them scared out. What do you think, Michael? And them no want to get to use them strive. Yeah. Somebody has said about the fear, like the killing. I see one lady just I think her mama. She said, get up get But up it can be also it can be so it can be so you know it can also be so probably she has saying that get up people are not don't want to use the word ignorant are but aggressive. they are so angry, aggressive. So yeah. you not really even feel like you can yeah, yeah, talk to me, you know, because you feel like say you been a higher class and you uptown and me just I get to you and oh you're gonna talk to me and you're gonna talk to me with some big words and you know they don't really understand that so I'm gonna start get angry and but they are this rare, 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 rare. and then it can lead from something to something. So we don't know probably that they must say. Somebody say get your people more confrontational. And it's as if them not really got to reasoning and logics more. Like them really, them it's always ready. Exactly, them, them always ready to fight. Them, as a, you, you just say something to them and it just trigger them. And then you add them that boops. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, all right. From my, all right. Let me use my experience. From my experience with, um, when me going on the ghetto, I'm a deed people on the ghetto. I would agree that them, the more touches, uh, smallest little thing can irritate them and get and get anger out of them. And that's just me from my observation still. And so we can understand somebody being fearful. Because you, know, you really know what I'm doing in that environment there where you feel like the slightest little thing where you say can turn this into a confrontation. You see me? So the, which now leads to the next question, Michael. Is there anything ghetto people can do to let uptown people stop underestimating them? And stop be fearful of them. Where you get the people can do to fix that? Why you can't say what the uptown people can do? No, I'm going to go there. Hold on. I'm going to go there. Hold on. I'm going to go there. No, I'm going to go there. No, I'm going to look on both sides. The ghetto are always like to me, you know, because I guess sometimes them just don't know better. Them just don't know better. And if them don't know better, them just can't do better. And I just saw them know to express themselves. Okay, so they the can't blame the people, but so them grow. Okay, so them grow. I understand that. I'm a respect that reasoning there, to be honest with you. So then, being that the uptown people, according to they are more educated, so them know better. What is it that they can do then? For, for, what is it that they can do to create a better relationship so them stop underestimate the potential of the uh, people in other You see, I get the youth down the road, right? They say you just know for all that calm reasoning with the brother. You know, if you use a big word, feel like say your vocabulary up your son, feel them one down. You know, if you use them something, if you and the man have a disagreement, you know, if you use a big word, oh, you have intellectual disability, and you know, if because the man ever feel like you are disrespecting in the simplest thing, then feel like they are being disrespected, and they're gonna find it offended, or whatever offensive, and mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna move from one something. So, all I just need for the yeah, well, I reason with a get a youth, yeah, what well, Reasoning, come. I'm sum up what you say in a little bit more of an intellectual way for the people in the live are more into that. I'm going to tell you because we have two people in the live and we have to cater to everybody. From my, from what Makula said to me, it's so like just simple. Um, she feel like uptown people should be more mindful of the limitations we come with 
the ghetto people. And if they be more mindful of the limitation, them and people in the ghetto can live better and that relationship they can fix between uptown people and ghetto people. Do you think that is something that is possible to for, for fix that relationship then? Ghetto people and uptown people. Of course it can fix because of course it can fix because remember not relevant. It's all about the reasoning. We can tell you this now. Enough you to get in and know for all a proper reasonability, you know. Say so me they not the uptown, you they not the uptown no relevant. Mm. And me they not the get to right to sign you with a conversation. You have to know I mean you feel like me just ignorant then use the word because people have to say get up people ignorant. Right. So you feel like say me ignorant, right? You ever come now, you ever talk to me, and then you ever know how to reason back with you without you using your, your, your brains and your education skills. Then, for me, you have yeah. to know your reason with me, I'm a reason with it. All about good reasonability and good communication. Yeah, and I just say just the simple things, them. And the simple things, them. I agree. I agree. So, 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 I totally agree. Say, yo, listen, man. The people that were uptown, when they know, say, you never deal with ghetto people, understand, say, due to some um institutionalized systems it limit the the, the ghetto people them from having the communication skills like the people them uptown and because of that you have to find so enough to be more understanding and come up with better ways to communicate with them rather than just look upon them as savages and just write them off figure out how you can communicate to the people them in the ghetto better so that um there can be unity between the two sides you see me i'm see if we can create Right, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Sure, too long don't make a right relevant. If you feel like send me and get out, you try to calm me down. I say that. If you feel like you can't calm me down, you come and say get the people done and and full fool as what people say. Not me. People want to do attack me do. And mm. people said this is what is in the society. This is what people have get the people as done and right. ignorant and a lot of people have them as. Yeah, understand? So if you feel like say you want to talk to me about something, you feel like say me too angry or whatever. You try to talk to me too long don't make, You can't feel like you want to disrespect me if you feel like say okay. I mean, you, you can't be the bigger person. Right. You know what I say? All right, people, let me show you something where I really create a problem as, as I evaluate it. The root of the problem between the, the, the ghetto people and, and, and uptown people isn't so much geographical thing, you know, location, you know. It's, it's, the, it's the educational makeup. One... One set of people tend to get education more easier. One set of people in our community where the schools them better, where access to education, there's, there's more access to better education versus the other. Some of you say, if you, re if you really want to address that problem there, the bigger thing we need to be looked at is how oh, better people can be educated better and more and you know that come into a whole another thing because you talk about government you know and the whole of that but overall if he said education is where um um can really if both sides are more educated on each other and not just one car what we that talked about earlier we only that talk about where um upscale or uptown people should do but what if both persons go ahead and educate on the get up people educate themselves more about oh Uptown people do things, and uptown people educate themselves more about how ghetto people do things. What do you think about that? Both sides are educate themselves. Are you a mackerel? Are you one? Really, are, 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 are you for the family? Hey, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and tell you. Well, when I last see a man, when I last see a man, can you not know, focus tonight? You know, I need somebody to kill you. you know? <laughs> no, I'm we'll focus, but is that. You know what, let me tell you, I don't really know much about the uptown situation and them something anymore. What I can tell you from my, just, it's an opinionated world. Oh, what I can tell you is that ghetto people are, oh, yeah. I love oh, that, I love that. No, I love that. I your favorite. By the way, I'm my favorite thing on my love. I love what you say that. I, that I like a little slang. Every time I always I think about it, it is an opinionated world. Mark, I'm Mark, tell Mark, up, yeah, my world. Every week. Yeah. Yeah, at least I can get that once in other life. It is an opinionated world. You see me? Michael, I'm not saying that. I'm going to come attack me. It's my opinion. And everybody yeah. can voice your opinion. The, the street people, they show them street voice. You also yeah. can voice an opinion. When I run going on street voice, DM on a voice an opinion. So if I feel like so. Mr. Something on a door like, when I tell them, say, on a door like it. You understand? But, anyways, think, let me go proceed on, go with my conversation. As me, Mm -hmm. Get up, people. 
is lack of education when a relevant boss can take up himself and send him to evening class for pick up and wear him drop off and on Saturday class for pick up and wear him drop off and whatever, whatever, whatever and something, something, something. Mm -hmm. Get the people now do that and get the people, some people can't do that because guess what? When 12 o'clock, I got time school over. When 2 o'clock come, it's just that for them. It's just that they are done. And it's just like teacher. Sometimes it's sometimes all about the teacher them now focus on this particular child. I don't know if I'm going to no, come from certain area that I don't really know. I'm not going to tell life on nobody. But I mean, like, sometimes you know, is you have a fork. Is I don't know really bad. I don't so, know. hold on. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. This is an important thing. I want you to genuinely answer this. Do you believe that most people live in the ghetto take education seriously? I want to answer it genuinely. I yes. mean, I want them to come fight. No, I want to answer it. They are street vice, so they have to actually speak the truth for street vice. Do I think persons within the ghetto take education seriously? Most of them. Most of them. Most of the people in the ghetto, do they take education seriously? Do you think the, all right? Me let me re, let me read let me restructure the question. Me go go with my me go go with my honest opinion. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Okay. Me living in the ghetto. Me want go my friend yard. Go play a game when school over. Me just want left and go in my yard. I me just want go play football. I me just want go this. Well, uptown people now. Them stay in, them stay at school and wait till school like six o'clock and do them homework if I that them have to do and do them extra lesson if I that them have to do for catch on, for catch up. You understand? When you think that's a pity where them learn today, them no remember that by tomorrow. Some of them. Let me put that right, right in a sentence. Some of them mm -hmm. are most of them. So, so Michael, what you think? At the yeah. end of the day, wait now, this is the last thing I'm going to say. I mm -hmm. see true that now, some of the pity them. It's all about parents who cleaning. It's not the children them supposed to be you blame. Right, right. Because right. my picnic can't grow themselves. Right. I right. remember the neighbor over there, so now I got to come my own. I say, you get one man, come here, let me do this for you. Where's the mother? No, you're not going to come my own and do it. But even if the parents them can't do it, you have to try to say, okay, then you can't do it. Let me see how oh, best I can help my child because me can't do it. You understand, relevant? Mm -hmm. And some mm -hmm. of these people, I don't know if it's it not happening in a modern time, though, but guess it's a cycle, so probably mm -hmm. it's still happening. Mm -hmm. Them send the pin them go to school Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Them no go back. Next week, them go Monday, Tuesday, them no go for the rest of the week. How is it I can learn that way? How is it? We can so get to socialize and we can get when we grow up big and then it's a cycle and then it rotates and it rotates and it just rotates. Me now nah go know how to communicate with people well because it's not all the time me can communicate with the people in my area and my community because basically most of we are the same thing. Right. And so exposure, you need exposure, you need for actually yeah, a network. With people outside of you, outside of you, right? Who, this, who say a nonsense? Them say a nonsense, elephant. No, yeah, I'm one for them. Michael, chill. <laughs> but, <laughs> but watch your break. <laughs> you know, it's a man I do. Like, you know, it's a man I like. Somebody said, still happen. You know, I like to talk to you because you always offer a, a perspective. What I like, Can you touch on something about parenting. And yeah, sure. So listen, even the kids them can't even grow themselves. So it it has start from even parenting, not even at parents not taking education serious. Do you believe though that there are a lot of parents who they don't send them children to school all the time because of um financial reasons? Why they don't? Sometimes the hello. No, use financial reasons in this some time. But I see most cases the school are right around the corner really bad. Because I remember saying that the ghetto have all heap all heap of walking distance school. So you see if you don't have no lunch money, get a picnic, you know if you rig up something, put in our lunch dish and say go on. So why you think why you think they would have why you think they would not let the, make sure that the child go to school five days a week? Why you believe say a parent don't do that? Them the me can't bother. You have some donkey parents. Me oh. can't bother for sending this morning. Even my picnic late this morning, I'm after go. 
Better be late, better be late than never. Some of these parents, they just not take interest in them pitney education because um, if I even now say, me me help you do your homework because me must say that every parent can read or write and whatever, whatever. But what did the teacher say today? Mm. Me as a child, I go member say me I go make sure to take something what the teacher said today because my mother I go ask me what did the teacher say today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell mm -hmm. my mother what did the teacher say. That is called reasoning. And I say mm -hmm. you're going to able to reason with people in the outside world, apart from people in the ghetto. True. A true. Michael, you just touched upon a very... I like the point the way you make, the, um, the connection where you make between all of that. That is definitely what needs to be done. Education needs to be taken a little bit more seriously. And if education taken more seriously within the ghetto, it can merge the uptown people in with the ghetto people a little bit, a little, you know, better than what it is right now. So I actually feel so you touch upon a great point. People, what would I say? Oh, Mackerel Point got just a while ago. When I like Mackerel Point, can we see some facts and them things there? Mackerel attack, don't it? Mackerel, you attack, you know? The people have rated you, know? you attack you things over there. You see me? Yeah, <laughs> man. Michael, I talk, you know? Up to you. Yeah, man. All right. So, let's see the people that must say, Michael, I talk. Me, we hear what they must say. Me, we hear what they must say. Michael, I talk. All right. More so, on telling you. More on telling you a little bit before we continue what Street Voice is going to be about next week. Street Voice, you is are. Is that going, going to be about me? It's always yes, about, about, about you. Me. <laughs> it, is, it is always about you. They, <laughs> see, you can give me. A, um, tell me what you think. She said, this was her such situation. She said to me, it's irrelevant. I've been dating a gentleman. She's in her 30s. And she said, I've been dating a gentleman in, in England. And the man in England is 86 years old. All right? He's 86 years old. He's soon dead. <laughs> but... <laughs> Michael, what the, yo, where's some blood? What, what if the man have life? <laughs> what, the, what if the man have life? What if, what if a life will live? <laughs> what you don't say the man's so dead? Eh? Anyway. You know don't live life. What you got? Listen, that man. So she's in her 30s. He is 86 year old. His wife just passed away. And uh, um, he wants to now marry her. She wants to know if she should marry him. What do you have to say about that? So your wife just dead and then you want to come marry me away at the road of marriage? Yeah, yeah. She yeah, him, him, him want her to come married and him want her to come live with him now and come to England and everything. No, no, like, me at thirty. No, me at thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Me go on go to the bar and me go on go to the clubs and you not go on that because probably at eighty six. I help her yeah, look. I help you out, man. You're sad. <laughs> I uh, probably think he can't move in an 86 year old stage and him don't live him life already. And he, all he wants to just sit down and watch BBC news or CNN news or whatever might be the case. No, don't marry him. No. <laughs> what, but, but, collect, if, if he might give money, just collect where he can collect. So just tell him, say, yeah, man, I'm going to marry them, man, baby. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. build up him wolves. Mm -hmm. And then you know, collect where he can build a big mansion or whatever might be the case or something. Just but will not Jamaica something. rough you know, though? You know, things is a good opportunity if she can take advantage of it and make it over to England and, and create a better future for herself. Well, you never look on it from the perspective. And everything glitter goal. You never hear. <laughs> so, Michael, if you're in that position right now, you say you, you would not make that move to go to, to get to fly out and go to England. Yeah, and go hold me down. <laughs> Nobody come hold me down. Well done business. Well done business. So you, say you, think, well done business. you think you think it's an L five want? You think it's an L five want? Of course. All right. What kind of relationship? <laughs> After I'm not strong, I'm 86 year old, that's you know. 86. 86. Yeah. I eight and a six. Almost 90. And I like at the early 80s, you know, is the late 80s moving forward to the 90s. <laughs> yeah. What kind of fun man you could have? Well, eh? So you know, if you say you could have fun with that eighty-six year old man. Wow, if you take me up every five, seven days of the week and bring my guy to church, seven days of the week, <laughs> every year from four to four. Fuckers <laughs> at church. Why you know nobody got church? 
Why could you style the man in there? The man up on the live right now, the man's supposed to vex us. Like. No, but 86, <laughs> not 86 is too old. 75, no, brother, understand. Okay. I want 70. 86, no, brother. Wait, so where your where your where your age live it, Jaffa? You know, say that's how your thing there. You're not seventy five. Okay, that got seventy five. But like man was soon dead, no. But but but, <laughs> but can't go take the married part. The married part. No, married part. No. What the hell? Say you like man is soon dead. What the hell? Like yeah. who sit down and think about that? Like you know, something I mean, I like like my prefer man is soon dead. Me never you know. Say now try to live my life with the man. Why not want man is soon dead? You know what? Because I tell you, this man will, will retire um, and have them pension. If a pension, Jamaica Gios, I mm. will go for mental and mind them. So when them that old and so dead, mm. them, them can't do not much, you know. Mm -hmm. And then them want to throw a rub down them head. They want them to look shine ball head, white grey head where I clutch them. That's all <laughs> them want you to do. Nothing else. All them want you to do is know that you are beside a company them and look. If you move and go pay your phone call the young boy, they might watch watch you. That's what them do. They might watch watch you when they go call the young boy. I move. I watch where you going. Where you going to? And they can't shut. 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 They not shut. They can't 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 shut. They <laughs> this sounds very personal. Yeah. This so this sounds very personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Michael said, it. "Hey, you're then very you descriptive." Never watch yet. I shoot Michael. That not so like show. That so like that so like <laughs> experience. Yeah, you know, said so them can't talk. Mm -hmm. You know about everything when them want. See that he said, "All right." So you yes, said them only want them back rub and them ear rub. You don't think them still them still in a position for have sex and enjoy sex. And if you give a good time. Them tongue stiff. <laughs> and then cut dead. No, no position dead. No, no the rest of <laughs> Yo! Michael, yo! What the hell? Michael. <laughs> yo, Michael said them tongue stiff and then cut yeah. dead. Of course. Nobody has no stiff tongue. Nobody has no stiff tongue. What do you want? Yo, but you may say that Yo, what are they? Yo, come do I don't be alone at dead for life right now. Michael, wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm trying to forget. They don't know. Me, me don't know about all man. Yeah. And you have to tell me all, <laughs> all you know about all man. Because you sound very experienced. We may all know about all man. Look like mm. Mama Kabush behind a coat here. You sound, no, I'm going to tell you the truth, Michael. Your definition. The, the information where I give out, it don't sound random. It sound like a person that has been there, done that, and has retired. You see me? Which, which, which old man? You, you, so, g describe to me your experience. Cause you know, me say, go around the car no more. You've been with an old man. Don't me never tell, hey, no, you can't come. Me never tell you something. Me say anything, me never tell you. Me, if me not tell you something, me, I don't, me never tell you something. I tell you what the old man them want. And everybody know that that's the old man. All I want to do, is to come. Oh, what you want to eat? Care of them house. Lock you up. Go go watch BBC news and CNN news and whatever, whatever, whatever. Talk on them house phone from nine o'clock in the night. Go straight back till five o'clock in the night. You don't know who a foreign. You don't know who them a chat out so long. Uh, yo, Mister, yo, Mister, what they were prepared for this? And when yo. them a chat, them chat, them chat, them chat loud. <laughs> <laughs> yo, oh, sure, back and you kill me. Yo, them, yeah, like... that's all. Them look chat, man. They can chat. Um, the old man, they was standing love a young girl. Yes, 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 yes. So, the, so, what is it a situation that they cannot get? They cannot get those benefits that they might look for from an older woman why them want a young girl if it's not sex like why them want a young girl not to keep them company and chat with them you see old man i walk a chat with old man old man <laughs> want to chat with young boy but... <laughs> so weird all people just tired of each other then old man want 
Yeah, all the man want to take up, but young, but young people love them young people. Okay, somebody just said them love. Yeah, um, really bad. Young somebody, people love young. Somebody just said them love cowboy show and them thing there. Are you? All the old man, them for two, two, two man, God Almighty for two. <laughs> Yo, man, I like Michael. Michael, so let me ask you question. What the oldest man you ever talked to? Ninety-five. Michael, stop it. <laughs> you sound like a, you sound like it's a highway where you call out, but like <laughs> like ninety-five. What? <laughs> Mr. What the oldest man you ever talked to? <laughs> really, but me is not a man, madam. Me not keep up with age. Age of high school pit. Me not know about them money. <laughs> so, so we, <laughs> it's all like so. You say you meet a man and you don't even respond to the age right there. You just deal with him once him and make sense. Then, when me I ask, oh, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? How old are you? What month you born? I oh, said, so somebody asked ask you in a relationship. Just get to the po point of the relationship. You just should Michael. lie. Ah. Michael. <laughs> oh, me not tell the truth. Let me just tell the truth. Tell the truth, no man. The people them like it too. Why the oldest man you ever talked to? Um. Hold on. Hold on, the market. Hold on. You got think? Hold on. Love people business. They go just black him off from WhatsApp status. Yeah. Say people. <laughs> hey, but they are mad. We not go on that far. But but you go black me off from WhatsApp status. If you get to me headset the family here, we can't hear everything. Right here. They go from the headset and go. We hear everything where I say. We should have go a little bit longer. Make you go on that. You see me? Ah. <laughs> oh, how oh, old oh, is the oldest man you ever talked to? I don't remember really what happened. What in the past day? In the past. You don't bring up past. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. 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 Them All right. people no are problem. dead to me. Them die. Them die. I don't know. <laughs> when you say them dead, you mean them literally dead or you just say them dead to you? Them literally dead. Them dead <laughs> to me. Them dead everywhere. Them just dead. <laughs> All right. No say, no say a word. Them. All right. So ladies, on the live. We're gonna make 53? the ladies. Sixty-three, Jesus Christ. We're gonna make all the ladies them answer for everybody and be true. Them say fifty. As all man them for answer too. After man, they, oh, so man can say what's the oldest woman them ever did with. So all the people from the line. Yeah, what's, what what's, mm. what's the oldest person have you ever been with? Let me see the answer them. Let me see the answer 85. them. Eighty-five. The person, don't write 85 because me never call your name and me don't want nobody to know who you are. So what the oldest <clears throat> person you've ever been with? Talk truth. Me will see what so, I want. So all you said, so all you said, so all you said, man, move from 86 to 85, really, man. What, what me did you say? Uh, 86, sorry, 86, 86. Somebody said 45. Somebody said 37. <laughs> Jaja. Brianna said 55. Wow. Life will not move. 37. Somebody said 37. Life will not move. It's stuck over here, so. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so telling you. I'm so telling you. I'll tell you where I'm going, man. 37. That's the case. Somebody said 66. 37. Young, young, something. Somebody said 52. Not nobody. That's who dead. Somebody. Michael, why you enjoy them more with them suits? You know, easy, you 56 50 42 all right all right all right everybody will stop make will stop make will stop make will stop and nobody know so we're gonna ask another question what when you are talking about what macro let me start with you what a perfect age group where you feel say a man if a fight you're not there with a man between 40 to 50, between 30 to 40, between 20 to 30. Give me the best increment. What would be the best age group a man where you're interested in? Age is just a number. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give me an age group. Age is just a number. Between, age is, between, age people who can answer for the life, too. Come, Michael. Talk it through. Age is just a number. 
Marker, come on, man. I'm in love with a man who is twice my age. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you pull that chat. Let me say the people. All right, ladies, ladies, since Mark will not answer. Somebody said 34 to 45. Okay, that's not bad. Um, that's a good age. Um, 30 to 40. You yeah, see me? 30 to 40. We're going to add a mackerel. Mackerel, call it back there. It's a whole for 30 to 40, may I say. Whole for 30 to 40. 40 to 50. Men, if you're on the live, please pay attention to the age group where women prefer. Lots of 30 to 40, we are see. Somebody said 35 to 45. Macro, so the overall number where we are see, most everybody we are type are between 30 to 40. That's how they like. They like man between 30 to 40. So, Ross, we are 35. Me like man 60 to 70. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you like my 60 to 70? Them man but, there. But, but man, them man, man, the man, we are, man, we are 60 to 70. Now nah, I want you, because you can't cook on them things there. Them man, they want woman they can't cook. And they look at things there. Them man there, them take them, pen, them, take them pension and pay help. I want them to you, sugar daddy. <laughs> but yeah. Michael, easy, though. So, 60 to 70. Six to seven. Hey, yeah. question. Mm-hmm. And father, me I look for say papa. <laughs> how how are you, papa? Yeah. Respect. Pull the respect on the old man there. Yeah, that's it. Yo. Man. Yeah. Hey, do you feel like that? Song. Do you feel so you say you feel say older man like that, them like when woman call them like them like a name there and them thing there? What you think? Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, yo, yo, fuck, fuck, really. hey. So, Mark, we don't know all the conversation had gone from uptown to 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 to, to get up people. But this actually, this actually went midnight tonight. But I like you. So, Mark, are between sixty to seventy. Papa, Mark, yes, do you man, believe that? The man that got your child, sometimes I want to hear story time, sometimes I want to hear story time. I want to hear about him all days, the man, them, somebody that will do that this, so, and when the guy use $20 to pay for money, more like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, fuck. <laughs> hey, fuck him. Say it again, say it again, you use $20 to pay for money. You see, the way all yeah. you can talk. We can tell, say, this is a real thing for you, though. Because the, the information where you have, the, per, the average person now can have the information. You, you, you look like you sit down at the foot of all man all the time and listen to them story, you know. You just have very frequent. <laughs> <laughs> look like you always there, old man, put a listen to story, you know. You see? <laughs> Like your story, yeah. And when them, yeah, and when them used to be the host, them pound grave and them somebody, and yeah, I'm back in the street lights, never they bore. I used to look at orange like them. Ready for them? Like them. Like, you don't know the orange street like them. People, you don't know the orange street like them. Stop, ready for stop going like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You don't remember. You don't know about old man. No, 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 I have the street lights. <laughs> they have like, like when the man them tell me the story, man. Yeah, man. And they must go wait on a bamboo pipe, go catch water and come back. And I sit and sit on. I'm telling Yo. Yeah, look at story Listen time, up. Code. This At this moment, more have a reminder and I say, Mackerel have a song out right now. What is the song name, Mackerel? Every time I ask a song name. Make the video see you. I didn't remember. I didn't think you were going to ask you no, All right. Next week, try to remember your name and your song so we can tell the people what your song name. Sex is awesome. Michael said, I have a song, oh, but I don't know your name, mate. You see me? But... <laughs> I lied, I tell you, I probably, but tell you, I said the song name, make the video, see you. Oh! 
Yeah, that's why I have a black people, Mr. Tuska, you're over here, talk about how I approach man. And I never come with another idea. Mark it, watch it free, watch it free. Before we leave, I have three very sexual questions I want to ask you. You see me? I want to ask you. Yeah, ask Satan. I want to ask you. I want to ask Satan tonight. I ask you, I ask you, because you are the guest for the life. You understand? And you are my you are my co-host to make it precise. All right, people, Zuri. people, Michael, let me ask you a question. Here we go. What is your favorite? What is oh, your yeah, favorite man. place that you like a man to kiss on you and your body? Everywhere. Come on, man. Let me ask you find a favorite place. You have to choose one place. Hoy, hoy. <laughs> Talk to man. <laughs> Talk to man. Fire. Like when the boy suck up my tongue. And let him and close his eyes. I'm going to close my eyes. Mm, okay, okay all right. So, so you like to you like to be tough. I went in, so. Okay. I want, I want. So, Mike. No, I'm not. I, I choose my one try. You know me, I try to just black up really bad. Because relevant, relevant, relevant. Why your favorite place to keep? <laughs> when you no, like when it, you mean, where, the question. Well, like, well, like, well, we not like when they reach. We not like when they reach. Chop chop. Question them. Yes, me. The question <laughs> is, what yes. is your favorite place to be kissed? Where do you like for somebody to kiss you? That's the question. <laughs> so answer the question. That you never question. said that. You said, where do I like? A yes, man where do? You? Yeah, where's the favorite yeah, place say. for you? To so me, you as a man, no, me ask you as a man, no, me so you like to kiss. What, me ask you like to kiss. Buckle, you can't, you can't act like you want to restructure the question. The question is supposed to be, where do I? <laughs> you know, said so we, we, we are past, we, we are past a lifetime. We got way beyond the hours and hours. Ladies and gentlemen, the live has officially come. Boys and girls. Student and the live has, has gone way beyond the time, and we want to first and foremost thank right. everyone who came out tonight for the live. I appreciate Street Voice, appreciates you. Don't forget to go and follow Street Voice. Also, if you have a business and you want to promote the business, DM my page. And, and, Michael, oh, oh, go on over this. Yeah, you look <laughs> anyway. Don't that, that it look like. So what you pray? <sighs> if you don't have a business or don't want to promote, go ahead, DM the page. We are willing to help you to promote the page for a small fee, very small fee. We will introduce your, your, your business on the live during this whole thing that we're doing. And also, don't forget to share. And remember, next week, send us your questions. We are going to we are going to be discussing your situation next week all right don't forget to do that and don't forget to check out macro songs we are both artists don't forget to check out my songs and on my page right now once this live ends i'm going to go live for a short amount of minutes to where i'm going to do the credit giveaway which i do every week so don't forget to run over to relevant bars page i'm going to end the live mackerel mama mwah, later later mama bye 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 guys <laughs>